my bad. Welcome, welcome to the show. It is me. It is me, your girl, Labor Lee, a.k.a. Cat Lee. And you have now tuned in to Ambitiously, the podcast. <coughs> you have. Um, today is, today is Wet and Wired Wednesday. Today is the day that we usually come and talk about the taboo things. Um that we don't normally discuss on a day-to-day basis. As adults, I feel like as adults, we should be able to have these conversations. So we're having them. Um, A a few people I want to show love to real quick because they my boos. And, you know, it is what it is. So hold on. Um, (laughs) Hold on. I'm getting to all of that in one second. All right, first, big shout out to Rock. Actually, Rock, follow our Facebook page today and I was able to correlate that it was him. Hi Rock nice to see you finally um my boo Doc Sav hi honey um yes Rock did beat you here today but baby you are you here you here always and you always support so screw that screw that um (laughs) you here baby you always here um also um, Doc said, dang, right. oh no, <laughs> we're here. We are here, baby. Um, and then the other thing is Wet and Wired. It is Wet and wet, Wired Wednesday. So before I get into the discussion, because I had a lot of time to think about what where I wanted to go with this actual conversation today. And um, we're going to dive into it in a second. But before I get started with all of that, some things that need to be said and it's a thing that I need to do. So I'm going to do it. Um, first things first, the phone line is open. 443-850-4828. 443-850-4828. Or you can drop a comment. You can text and I'll read your text live. Or you can ask me to drop the link as long as you are on your best behavior. Sometimes some of y'all just be out of pocket. So just know that you're on your best behavior. You can come on the show with me. Um, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel on YouTube. Um, as a you know follower on Acast, on um, Red Circle, uh, Patreon, become a member. Same thing with you, become a member because there are some things that well, actually there are some things that's going up tomorrow, which is my um, administrative day. Also on Twitch, you oh you are so right, boo. I don't know how did I forget Twitch. I don't know how I forgot Twitch, but yes, Twitch as well. Make sure you dare to. Um, we are, we have a, a few places that we are located. And so, you know, sometimes it gets a little bit hard to remember all of them. Um, if you are not from the United States, there was no show yesterday because yesterday was the 4th of July. Now, normally I would do a show anyway. Um, but again, my daughter asked me to spend the day with her and that I did. And we got the best fireworks show without even leaving our home. When I say my neighborhood was lit, my neighborhood was lit. I do not live directly in the city anymore. So I I live in the suburbs now. And um, when I say there were fireworks, and I'm not talking about bullshit fireworks. I'm talking about major fireworks left and right in my neighborhood. We had to go nowhere because it was popping. Um, So that's that. Um, There's some other things I need to get into, but we'll get into them gradually. Um, Before I get into those things, though, let's do this real quick, just to get it out the way before we have our conversation. Oh, yes, we did enjoy our time, babes. Um, I'll be right back. Right back. I promise. Right back. Just a sprinkle of fabulousness. Mm Mm-hmm. Sign up today for Dior's newsletter and receive a complimentary gift with your purchase using the code Welcome You. Again, sign up for the newsletter, receive the complimentary gift at checkout when you use the code Welcome You. Fly, fly shit. Okay, I'm back. 
Um, yes, Rock, we absolutely did have a great freaking time. Just enjoying, um, I pulled out the, the um, sparklers. And then, um, like I said, the neighborhood was lit up, especially at the corner of my street. Um, Cause they they had crates and crates of fireworks, and again, not the bullshit fireworks. I'm talking about the ones that you're supposed to see at um, maybe like a fourth of fourth of July or maybe perhaps a um, New Year's type of situation. It was cool. It was great. Um, so we did have a good time. She was amazing and all and all of that. And even though she's 11, going on 12, it's still she's still a kid. So um, we had a good time no i didn't get a plate to go because i did not leave my home and it's plenty of food in my house um <laughs> so no i didn't get a plate to go um we stayed home we just went outside and you know did our thing um but anyway so if you're listening then you see that the title is and if you're watching you see that the title is wet and wire the versus episode because there are some things that i've had the ability to sit down and think about um, over this last year. Oh, okay, I'll get to that in a minute. But over this last, well, it's not even been a full year yet, but you know, I'm I'm one that's big on self-reflection. Like I'm huge on that. So there are many things that I want to dive into with the versus episode because there are different types of situ situations and variations of the verses. So for example, I'm going to give the first example. Um, who you met back then when I was in my teens and twenties is not the person that I am now. I've had a lot of growth. A lot of a lot of things have happened to you over the years. A lot of good, a lot of bad. You feel me? And those are the things that make me the person that I am right now, right? But um, for some strange reason, when you go out into the world, no strange reason. People are people. But you know, you go out into the world, and maybe a person that knew you back when you were in your teens or in your twenties might run into you now. Myself, I say this on repeat: I have no shame in my age. I look damn good for my age. Um, matter of fact, I'm out doing half these little young bitches. I mean, but whatever. Um, but I have no shame in my game. The things that I've done again, make me the person that I am now. But don't ever get it twisted. When you approach me, come correct, because the person that I am now, she's a beast, and she does not play with people at all. And I'm just saying, you know, like, people change. And I know it's hard for people to believe, but people freaking change all the time. Habits that they might have had back in the day, they don't necessarily have now. Um, ways that they may have lived back in the day versus who, how they live right now are two different things. And you just, oh, uh, <laughs> but you you just don't know what type of people you out here dealing with. And so, just because you knew the person back when doesn't mean that that's the person that you you're acquainted with right now. You outdoing these these other ladies I heard that no I'm just saying there's some young ones that I hope do I'm just saying um, but that's exercise eating healthy um eating on a regimen is it's things that you could do to improve your health it's just I happen to be one of those people that's into it and a lot of these younger young ladies are not into it so much maybe one day but right now they're not. So, you know, it is what it is. Again, there's the verses again. You could be like this one day where you don't give a shit about your health and not caring about nothing. Or, and then eventually later on down the line, hopefully it's not too late, you can take that shit serious. I'm smaller now than I've ever been in my life. But again, those eight miles, they 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 show, you know, they prove themselves that, that eating regiments, they, you know, do what they do. It's just change, you feel me? And all the time there's change. Um, so that's that. And yes, you did hear me say that. I wasn't trying to be loud about it, but <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> um, 
So that's that. That's the first part of this versus conversation. Don't think that you know me because you knew me back in the day. Like, I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to give you a prime example. And I'm not going to name any names because that's not called for, but I will give a scenario. So um, I dated this guy many, many, before my ex-husband, actually. Um, and we had, I, I said it before on another podcast um, or another show where um, I did have a brief stint in between the 10-year um, relationship I was in. And when I say 10-year, I was with that person from the time I was like 16 on, uh, um, no, actually 15. I think it was 15. Um, and then we weren't together anymore. And then I met this guy and he was cool and all of that stuff. And I was in college and again, being a college student doing the dumb shit that college students do um i did have a stint where i lived with him for a little bit and um he cheated on me and all that good stuff left it alone actually i left because we stayed together for a brief period of time i left and all of the things that i had with me when i went i left there behind i don't even know where half that shit is and i had this really bomb ass dress all black little slit little slit up the thigh um you know it was it was sexy but i even left that and i love that dress um so anyway fast forward to 2023 which is the year that we're in i received a message from him and you know he was you know shooting a shot but here's the thing the back then me versus the me now are two different people. It's things that I dealt with with that person that I would never deal with today. Ever. Ever, ever, ever in my life deal with today. Let me see what you're talking about, Doc. And then I left no the boob, um, the bomb ass femme dress you left. Yeah, I got all my dresses are femme. But yes, it was it was hot. I felt sexy in it. Thigh out I felt good. But yeah, I left that. I even left that behind. I left a whole bunch of stuff behind. Um, even textbooks that maybe I, I, well, textbooks that I wasn't using at the time, but I wanted to keep them because I felt like it would help with like my future endeavors because I'm big on books. Well, you can't see the whole studio, but I'm really big on books. I have a collection. I like my, I like having my own little library. So yeah, I left a lot of stuff, but at the end of the day, it was what needed to be done. Now we fast forward, we in the year 2020, um, 2023, and this person, because I'm going to stop calling people gentlemen. We use that word too lightly. This person hits me up and it's like, you know, what's up? We need to talk, all of this good stuff, but said nothing that made me feel like they grew or they had growth. Um, and so I'm not attracted anymore. Sorry. And it's not, um, it wasn't a fucking dress. It might've been a fucking dress. I don't know. Maybe it might've been. I mean, I was looking good in it, but two times I was, I was looking, uh, and I had to shoot, um, put that thing together. Um, but people change and growth is necessary and so in the conversation if we're having a conversation and you sound like you are the same person that i knew back then you probably have no chance now um and that's just what it is i'm on this this clean house type of situation right now let me see <laughs> um i'm on a clean house where Oh, they were still in the same status when you left them from. I don't know about necessarily the same status because um, the person definitely evolved on the type of professional status, but the mental status, yeah, they were still in the same lane. And I'm not there anymore. Met as I, this was early 2000s. I went to college. I went to college. I was in college from. Yeah, the mind was the same. Absolutely, absolutely. We talking about college 
was because I, I few years, I 98, 99. college was 2000, 2001, 2000. You understand what I'm saying? Like, so I, I'm not there. I'm in 2023. I became, I got married. I became a mom. I went through a whole bunch of shit in between that. While I was, you know, in that situation, it was, I'm not that same person. So you cannot come at me the same way you might have come at me back then. And matter of fact, I think the same thing he tried to pull this time is the same thing he tried back, I mean, he used back then to get me in the first place. And I don't think that he remembers, but I'm quite sure the same thing was, I want to go to the movies. In this day and age, sorry, there's not a movie theater that I would like to fucking sit in. Sorry, I'm just being real. I'm going to keep it a buck. One is, with all of these streaming sites, um, the way that cable television has evolved, um with all the websites that you go to and watch the movie. I don't want to sit in nobody's movie theater. That ain't my vibe. I'm not a, a movie theater kind of person. Um, yeah, it, it didn't really work because that's not what we did. You know what I'm saying? So you trying to do the same thing that you, when I was in my young mind, to a grown ass woman. That's not gonna, you can't repeat the repetitive cycle, so to speak can't keep doing the same shit. People are grown. I'm a grown ass woman. No, you're not going to ask me. <laughs> um, no, I don't want to. Oh, you're a Netflix and chill lady. No, I got Netflix. Yes. And I watch Netflix when I'm going to bed because I want to go to sleep and the sound of whatever's playing helps me out. But no, I'm not a Netflix and chill kind of lady. Don't take me to the movies. How about let's go out to dinner, have a few drinks. You feel me? Uh, I, I've never been a club hopper, so you saying you well, I would never go to a club with my dude anyway, or the prospective dude anyway. Um, I am a homebody, I am, but you know, do something else. Yeah, a museum. Yeah, I, I love museums. I love history, so that would make sense. Um, yes, take me out to dinner. That would be nice. Um, but. Don't come at me with the same shit you came at me when I was fucking 19, 20 years old. That shit don't work no more. I'm past that. So me then versus me now are two different people. Me then fell for a lot of stupid shit. The me now, not so much. I ain't even playing. I'm not even playing with none of the, none, I'm not playing. And the the me then wasn't okay with solitude. The me now I'm definitely okay with being by myself. I'm, I'm definitely okay with being alone. I sleep alone. I sleep alone. Oh, well, I wasn't sleeping alone, but then I broke up with the person I was with. Now I sleep alone and I'm okay with that. I get my big ass king size bed to myself and I stretch out of that motherfucker and I, it feels good. I call it the cloud. So, you know, so, um, yeah, I, I jump into the cloud turn my little Netflix on or whatever it's going to be for that night and I'm gone. I'm going to sleep. Um, so the versus is old cat and versus new cat. Nope. I got more to say. See what I'm saying? That wasn't going to be the whole show. That can't be the whole, sh whole show. So that was just to start the conversation off. Stop going at people the same way you went at them. But if you're trying to double back, all right, people double back all the time. Just change how you do shit because everybody ain't in the same mind frame. So that's the first part of it. Um, the next part of verses. Say what the fuck you mean. I am one of those people who, if I said I mean it, like example again, I'm giving out examples tonight. I've said it, I think I've said it on this podcast, maybe not, but when dating people, I say this all the time. Hold on. Mm, it's not a man thing. This goes to females too, because females do the stupid shit too. See, the thing about Kat is she's a, a loving big sister. You know, I go to my brother's house. He used me to cook for him and all of that shit. We talk. We have conversations. I am very close to, well, it's not for my baby sister, but she is like my baby doll, maybe 13 years 
apart. So it's kind of different with her. And she was like my baby doll when she came out. Um, she's a grown ass woman now, but you know, that's my baby. So, um, you know, it is what it is, but it's not a gender thing. So cat men are simple. We, we use what work. Yeah, but it's not working. That's my whole point. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't, what you think might have worked because I was fucking 18, 19, and 20. Don't think that shit gonna work when I'm in my 40s. Like, that's so fucking stupid. I'm sorry, I'm cussing up a storm. But that irritates me. Don't think that the same shit is gonna work all over again. Stop thinking that stupid shit. And that's why problems behave. Because, no, you can't. Hi, Justin. You can't keep thinking that the same shit is going to work over and over again. Even y'all, as men, grow. And so the same shit that the little silly broad might have played back in the day, tried to do back in the day, it's not going to work right now. You've already seen it. You've already paid attention to it. You've already peaked game. So she can't run the same game on you that she ran on you back when you was 18, 19, and 20. It, growth. It's not a gender thing. Uh oh, hi Justin, honey. Wait, oh my gosh, hold on. Hold on, I got some comments I gotta put on the screen. Um, that we won't get to you in a, in a minute, my Brazilian man. <laughs> hi Justin. Hi. Um, been a long time since I've been able to say hi to you on a podcast. So what are we saying, Doc? Um, yeah, cause you changed. He could do, okay, he could do, I'm going to look up here because it's bigger. He could do what you're saying now. Say exactly what he wanted and you would be offended, right? No, I would not. See, that's the thing about me. Let me break that down real quick. I am a blunt person. Um, My brutal honesty probably has gotten in the way of a couple of relationships that probably I could have had that were, would have been great, but because I'm so brutally honest. No. Tell me what the fuck you mean. Don't tell me what you think I want to hear. And that's been the problem with people over the years, and that's the problem that I have when it comes to the dating world. Don't say to me what you think I want to hear. Say to me exactly what it is your intentions are. That way it's clear. Now, I can either um, be receptive to what your intentions are or I cannot be receptive. But if you tell me which, some fake ass intentions and then later on down the line, trust me, it's happened to me, um, later on down the line, you come with your real intentions, it's a problem. Then I'm offended. Then I have a beef with you. Now I got a problem with you because you lied. I don't like liars. I don't walk around. I don't even, I don't lie to y'all. I don't lie to the people that are in my world. I just, I'm not a liar. I generally say what the fuck is on my mind. I am a just person. I'm a diplomatic person. And I honestly, honestly believe that in my truth, there's some beauty. And I wrote that on Facebook the other day, which is sometimes I think that my, my honesty is my Achilles heel because a lot of people don't like an honest person. I don't want to be a delusional person. I don't want to walk around thinking that this is this and then it turned out to be something totally different. I don't live in delusion. Tell me what the fuck it is so I can know what it is and then I can move accordingly. But don't feed me false intentions ever. Um, Because once I found out that they're false intentions, you got to hit the fucking road. And it's just that simple. I live that life and it doesn't bother me. Again, I'm one of those people. I'm okay with being in solitude. I'm okay with being by myself. Again, I sleep in my king size bed every night by myself. Stretch out on a motherfucker. I be one place, one, one moment and could be a whole nother place. Another moment. Well, the the next morning when I wake up, it's okay to be alone. understanding that when you feed people false intentions versus what your intentions are that caused the problem that causes the problem 
I don't want you to ever tell me what you think I want to hear. Tell me what it is that's really on your mind, what you really feel, how you really want to walk. You don't, okay, you don't want a relationship, then say that versus you saying, I want to be with you and you don't really want to be with me. That's just retarded. Now you sitting in a relationship that you really didn't want to be in with full of regrets because you couldn't be honest enough to say, I don't want to be in a relationship. Things are just that simple. I've dated people and I've been the first one to say, I'm not looking for anything serious. And because I'm saying that, they're able to deal with me the way that they wanted, you know, I'm like in a, in a different kind of way. I'm just saying, Justin, I'm just saying, but I'm not out here lying to anybody. I'm not giving false hope. I'm not making them feel like it's going to be something that it's not going to be. I'm going to be truthful with you because as long as I'm truthful with you, we can maintain a friendship. As long as you're truthful with me, we can maintain a friendship. We don't have to be together. I'm okay with being by myself, but be truthful. And I think that's where a lot of people get it messed up. Um, <laughs> what look who who out there can make um cat a happy girl as she says big purr purr oh wait a minute i gotta do that real quick and big purr hold on um the person that makes me happy is an honest motherfucker that's it just be keep it because we don't necessarily have to be in a relationship, but big prayer, big prayer, big prayer. Um, anyway, we don't have to be like, it's going to be what it's going to be. I'll give you another example. Was not in a relationship for a year because I, and yes, the truth shall set you free, Justin. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I had gotten, um, I was in this relationship. Person broke my heart on the law, I didn't act crazy and none of that. I'm not that chick. I really detach myself from people and move the fuck on. Unless there's some business aspect to it and I kind of got to deal with the person. But for the most part, my detachment is real. It's the realest I ever wrote, right? So I was with a person. Well, I wasn't with the person. I was in a stage where I was like, I don't want a relationship. I just want to date and have fun and have a good time and all of that because I'm cool with that. We dealt with each other for a while and then we became an item. We got into a relationship. But instead of saying like, all right, I don't really want to be in a relationship, that mother effer, I'm trying to curve my sailor mouth, that person, instead of saying, I don't want to be in a relationship or I don't want to be in a relationship with you, let me on for years, had me thinking that that's where they wanted to be and that wasn't where they really wanted to be. It's honesty. Because we still could have been cool after the fact that you were honest with me. I'm okay with that. A truthful person is the most beautiful person in the world to me. If you can sit down to with me and be an adult, because that's what adults do, and say all right, this is where I'm at and this is where I want to be at and this is what I want to do and this is not what I want to do. I can respect you more than I can respect a person who's just going to tell me anything. And that's real. I, a man that is going to make me happy is going to be truthful with me. And if it's going to be a relationship, then it's going to be a fucking relationship. But honesty is key. Either you're going to be my friend or you're going to be my lover. You choose where you want to be at. <laughs> And once you tell me where it is you want to be, then I act accordingly. I've had friends with benefits. We, I think we've all had friends with benefits. But at the end of the day, when it comes to those friends that I've had with benefits, I've always said, all right, we friends with benefits. Now, if I ever, if I decide that I'm going to get into a relationship with somebody, you've got to go. Because it's not fair to that person for me to keep dealing with you and I got them and they deserve all of me because this is where they want to be versus them wanting a little, what time is it? Can I fuck buddy? And that's just real. So what I mean, say what you mean, 
versus you saying what you think the person wants to hear. Because when you say what you mean, it might hurt a little bit at first. You feel me? Just a little bit. Because they're going to be like, oh, they're going to take it some kind of way at first. Everybody does. Everybody has feelings. Everybody deals in their emotions. But then they go and sit back and think about it and like, you know what? I respect that because you were honest enough to tell me where you stood and I got to sit on that. And because I'm sitting on that, we cool for life. That's the type of people I, I prefer to be around. Um, and that's real. You feel me? Just be honest with me. I'd rather you be honest with me than then just keep feeding me lies. Would you do, um, would you do on the flip if they got in a relationship then that's what it is and i'm gonna let them do what they need to do i'm not a home wrecker so if they decided that they wanted to get into a relationship then that's what it is i'm not here to break up nobody happy home i want a happy home of my own so why would i in turn try to break up somebody else's happy home and it's an old saying all my people's always said it i ain't just gonna say my grandmother my, my mother everybody how you got them is how you going how you gonna lose them. So I'm not gonna break up your what you do in your relationship is what you do in your relationship, but it won't be me breaking up your happy home or it won't be me breaking up your relationship. Nah, you get a relationship, I'm gonna let you go ahead. You that's where you wanna be. I'm not I mean I can be I guess there is a um a girly girl versus tomboy girl when it comes to me. I can be really hardcore when I want to be, but I'm also a very feminine and girly girl. You know what I'm saying? So certain things just don't affect me how it affect other people. Let me see what else we got on the screen. Um, yeah, certain things don't affect me how, like in all, and that's the thing that I keep telling people, stop sticking people in the box. Cause once you put, all females in a box once you put all males in a box now you got this idea in your head that everybody's the same you know how people be like oh um or some women be like men ain't shit or some some men would be like women ain't shit that's because you putting everybody in the box and now you skipping over what is shit what is some good what is great because you keep putting everybody in the box don't put me in the box baby big facts all I have in this world is my word and my balls, and I won't break them for nobody. Scarface, let's go. We not doing that. No, we want do. We gonna do what we say we gonna do, or we not gonna do nothing at all. And that's just that. Um, let me see what else Doc said. <laughs> Hold on, I can't see it yet. Meanwhile, would you stick around if they still wanted you to be? No. That's why you got a relationship. Why am I here if you got a relationship with somebody? Like, that don't make sense. No, I don't want to be an other woman. Have her. I'm quite sure it's a lot of females out here that don't mind being the other woman. I don't want to be your other woman. I want to be the woman. And I don't want there to be other women too. But, you know, life happens. Shit happens. I just said, and I just broke up with somebody because they had another woman. No, I don't want to be the other woman. I don't. So if they in a relationship, they need to handle that and, and leave me the fuck out of it. Because here's the thing, too. And I've been in many situations, a couple situations, where I didn't know about another chick being around and how I found out that the other chick was around was a phone call or a text message or a message on social media, which is, you mess with my my people's whatever, whatever. And the first thing I'm going to tell a chick, you need to go talk to him. If the answer that he gives you does not suffice, you can call me back. But see, and you calling me back, that's the gateway for me to say whatever the fuck I want to say. And I'm going to tell you all facts, mama. So you need to go talk to him and not talk to me. But if you so hard up to talk to me, I'm going to give you what you want. And that's real. I'm going to give you what you want. Huh. So you might not want to call me, but that's happened to me a couple of times. I dealt with it that way. Um, but the thing about females is this. They will go out of their way to continue the conversation. 
So they were like, well, he said, why I'm worried about you? Cause this, that, and the third, Never mind what he's saying to me. Um, or he said, you, you this and you that. Never mind what he's saying to me. It's a repetitive cycle and it's not one that I would like to continue. To be honest, I've already told you guys, I want that old time kind of love. I want the love where the kids bring the grandkids over and the great grandkids over and we hugging and we kissing on them, sitting on the porch, rotting our little chairs. We putting them the hell out. Cause again, not literally, cause I, I definitely believe in the children, but you know, at some point in time, it's fuck them kids. We got stuff to do. And we dipping off, all right, take your babies. We got plans. I very much intend to be that nasty old lady. You know, me and my hubby getting it in. And we st we old, but we still getting it in. You I very, but in order for me to have that, I need somebody that's genuine. That's going to keep it a buck with me and going to keep it real with me. Even if they do something that they had no business doing, be honest with me. And you don't know what the repercussions are going to be. You don't know. You just assume. But that's usually how it goes. You assume that you know what's going to happen. You don't know. Now, that situation that I told you all about where I didn't have a boyfriend for a while and then me and him started talking and dealing with each other and then we wound up being in a relationship. When we first started that relationship, the first thing I said, because this is how honest I am, let's have an open relationship. That way, if anything goes down... You, you know what I mean? Like, we already know what it is. We already have the understanding. But this motherfucker didn't want to share me with nobody else. And I, I gladly obliged. I did. Cut somebody off that I was talking to. Cut a lot of people off that I was talking to. But I gladly obliged because that was the kind of woman that, that's the kind of woman that I am. If you don't want that to be what we got going on, then that's not what's going to be what we got going on. You want me to yourself, you got me to yourself. But, um, you know, people can't always say what they mean. So say what you mean versus what you think I want you to say. Um, yeah, it's a hardcore cat and it's a, a soft kick. It's a kitty cat. I, but you know this. I don't hide nothing from you. You know this. That's why it's this. <laughs> Uh-huh. That's why it's that. That's the hardcore cat. And then there's this. That's the soft kitty cat that you would prefer to have. I don't lie. I totally speak the truth. This is what I do. And I'm not going to lie to y'all because for what? <laughs> for what? What the fuck I'm lying to y'all for? No reason. All right. Assuming, um, assuming would be so much scarier. Just don't do any something you shouldn't. Yeah, but this is the world. This is the real world. Um, so there's the reality versus the dream. You know what I mean? People going to assume shit because that's the reality of the world. People can't help but assume. I personally walk in not assuming shit because you know what they say about assumptions. I'm just saying. So I, I personally don't walk in the assumption category. I don't want to assume anything about anybody you gonna show me what i need to see you gonna show me the real you so i don't have the same shit just like i don't go out here trying to find out if my dude is cheating on me if it's happening it eventually come out because you're gonna fuck with a silly broad you're gonna deal with a silly broad and she's gonna get tired of the juggling act that you're 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 claim same thing with a dude and um female you could be messing with a female she could have a side piece or whatever and eventually one of them is going to get tired of the juggling act and then they're going to be like you know what i'm putting my foot down and i'm about to say something because you're not going to say it so i'm gonna say it and then all all hell breaks loose i'm not going to search for shit i'm not and I'm not going to be out here having anybody thinking, for that matter, that I am chasing them because I am not. I can be alone. I'm good with being alone. All I need is to have some noise and I'm going to sleep. And I'm asleep well. You feel me? I'm going to sleep real well. And not only that, I'm going to sleep well with 
the knowledge that I did the best thing that I was supposed to do. I wasn't moving. I wasn't checking for nobody, whether or not they was moving crazy on me. And I didn't move crazy. And that's all that's to it. As long as I'm, you know what I mean? I'm good. I'm in a great space with that knowledge. Um, and then one day I'll find my, my, my lifetime husband and partner and we gonna sit on that porch like I said rocking in our little chairs putting the kids the fuck out when we wanna go be two old ass nasty motherfuckers that's just what it is but I don't play games with people and I don't wanna deal with anybody that plays games with me so games versus keeping it a buck games will get you fucked up keeping it a buck will keep you happy and I think the more people that understand that the better not all the time is the, the, the honesty going to give you the result that you want, but it's going to give you a happier you because you have no lies to deal with. You feel me? I ain't saying that honesty is going to give you everything you ever dreamed of. I'm not saying that and don't ever get it twisted. But keeping it a thousand versus lying to somebody, you, you honest, you don't have nothing in your heart to feel guilty about. And then... Um, you don't have to worry about all the extras. When you're lying, then you got to keep telling more lies on top of more lies on top of more lies. You know what I'm saying? The difference, the verses, is different. When you're honest, you really don't have to deal with anybody's bullshit because they already know what it is. When you're lying, you got to keep building up the lie because you probably don't remember the first lie you told. So now you got to go and tell a whole nother lie and keep lying and keep lying and keep lying. And it's stupid. It's stupid. So there's truth and then there's the lie. Truth versus the lie. The truth always wins with me. And again, we don't have to be together. I'm okay with being by myself. I'm okay with dating people, but after a while... If you get on my nerves or you do something that I don't like, you're out of here. It's that simple. Uh, I, people make life way more complicated than they have to make it. And that's just, just <laughs> I don't know how honest I could be. People make their lives the way they make it. We don't make their lives the way they make it. The honest person ain't making their lives miserable. The person who's lying is making their life miserable. Then, as you can tell, you if you ever paid attention to somebody who lies, um, especially somebody who lies so much, they never seem to be happy, or they might fake the happiness, but you can really tell, you can really look at them and be like, "Damn, you miserable as shit." That's because they keep lying. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. So, lesson to that, as adults, because I got to show some love in a minute. First things first, never assume that the person that you knew back when is the same person that you know now. The shit that, that they go through is what shapes them. And that's what changes them into the person that they change into. So what you did then versus what you do now are two different things. Approach it accordingly. That's first. Approach it. I'm not the same person you knew back in... 1998 we in 2023 two different people live way different life than what i lived back then so that's the first lesson second lesson in verses is real um truth versus a lie you're not gonna be happy if you're lying the truth will set again justin said it the truth will set you to fuck free i promise you you won't have no worries about nothing because you was just as honest as you could be hold on um, and that's that. What, 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 what? Justin, I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm just saying. It's just, it's the truth. You feel me? And the truth will set. Oh, you mean you never lie. The truth will set you free. Um, let me see what what Doc said. Just quick. Well, I, just don't lie to me. You got some suitors you are aware of. Um, and some people that you know. Not a bad looking girl, you know. Some people out here that you know try to shoot they shot and all that good stuff, but again, I'm just not for everybody's bullshit, so it's kind of hard to just get in there, you know what I mean? 
you got you got to be a certain kind of person to to rock with the girl. Um, another lesson today: stay away from pathological liars. For facts, definitely stay away from them. You don't want to be. It's going. It's it's just going to be a pain in the ass. You don't want that. Um, and that's just real. And I, again, this conversation that we having tonight came from just me reflecting, sitting back and thinking about things that were heavy on my mind. Like, you know, I, I do a lot of self-reflection. Um, I'm one for accountability. If I fucked up the relationship, then I'm one to say I fucked up the relationship. But otherwise, <clears throat> if I didn't, and then we still broke out, I'm going to sit back and reflect on, well, what the fuck happened? You feel me? Like, what went down that? And I'm going to be honest, in the last situation, I really was thinking like, well, what the fuck happened? Because, again, people not being honest, instead of saying, I'm not happy here somewhere else I want to be, instead of saying that, they made me believe that they were happy here and they really wanted something else. You know what I'm saying? Just honesty. That's all. Yeah, so I, I'm about to get to the least one. I'm going to put, you, put your comment up last. Um, Justin said... You saying all facts. I'm just, I'm just, that's where my head space is at right now. But yes, I do got to throw these love notes on, babes. Hold on. Let me put this on the screen because I feel like I shouldn't be saying them unless this is on the screen. Yes. Love notes. It's time to give some love really, really quickly. And then we'll get back to the conversation in a second. Um, But yeah, I just, it's just some things in life we can avoid. And there's some things in life that people set themselves up for for no fucking reason. And I'm just sitting here like, well, no, I ain't really set myself up for half the shit I've been through. But, you know, I, 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 will, I will say I didn't pay attention to the red flags. The red flags versus the green flags are something else and people just need to know about it. But let me show some love real quick um, as soon as it gets on the screen. Okay, it's all love. It's all love. Uh huh. Thank you to my top six: the United States, the United Kingdom, India, France, Germany, Belgium, specifically Brussels. I love you. Thank you for being loyal and faithful, and always making sure y'all come through and check the podcast. Russia, Indonesia, Japan, New Zealand, Australia. Turkey, Switzerland, Canada, Mexico, Austria, Philippines, and Kenya. I love you all. Thank you, babies, for the love. I do. Pakistan, Romania, South Africa, Nigeria, Brazil, Netherlands, Singapore, Spain, Japan, Ireland, and Nepal. I love you all. I do. Thank you for tuning in. Maradis, Israel, Hong Kong, China, Poland, Tunisia, and Venezuela, baby. I love you. Thank you for the love. And big love to the Czech Republic for chucking in and, you know, becoming new to this podcast thing we got going on. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. (laughs) Thank you for the love. I love you guys. Big shout out to anybody who is watching on um, Facebook, Twitch, or YouTube. I love you all as well so much. I do. Hold on. I'm going to get to this comment really really quickly i do i love you guys um man it's amazing the love i could feel it i feel the love came a long way from them papers and killing trees with you (laughs) no we going green over here no more papers we done with that shit you know what I mean? We we gonna we gonna get it right. We gonna get it right. We we, we evolve with this podcast slowly but surely. Remember, I'm a one one woman show, so it takes time. But I I put it together how I need to put it together. Yeah, you know, just a little bit. Um, speaking of that, in 17 days we will be ce- celebrating three years of doing this podcast. Um, I almost forgot, but then I remember it was July yesterday. Um, because it was the 4th of July. And I was like, oh, snap, the podcast anniversary is coming back. So even if that day is probably not a podcast day, which I need to check the calendar, I might do a show, just a celebration um, of doing this podcast for three years. Um, It's been great. I have fun doing it. Doc, you always make it a a good show. 
um, rock, even though he pop in and out when he want to, but he got a job to do. Remember, everybody here has a job. Um, he makes it fun to do. I even had fun doing the tapping with King Knox. Um, I love the fire mixes um, that DJ Rukesi does for us. It's, it's just love, and I love the evolution. Even though it's been a slow progression, but I love the evolution. I do. I love it. Um, yeah, it's three years, hon. Um, that's an accomplishment. Thank you. It's three years. I've been at this for three years now, um, on July the 22nd. So, you know, it is what it is. But three years we've been at it. Um, and I've loved every part of the journey. Like I have. It's been great. It's been fun. It's been extraordinary. I've learned a lot of things about production. And I'm still learning because um, I still have room for growth. We all do. But in my line of business there's always still room for growth so yeah it's been three years three years um which is crazy <laughs> it's crazy i can't believe it's been three years but yeah three years um so we will be celebrating that really really soon um the last show doc you said marketing i didn't mention the marketing aspect of it. I mean, not the marketing management aspect of it. It's just I was talking so fast and reading the comments at the same time, which is Rukesi wasn't signed to my management company. Um, he was just, you know, rocking out the show and, you know, contributing. But now he's signed to our management aspect of Ambitiously Entertainment. So that's what I, I was talking about the last time we spoke. Um a lot of things in the works, a lot of plans in the works. Um, my little brain has been going everywhere. Like we need to do this and we need to do that. So I got a few plans and a few surprises to come um, for this next year coming. Cause then we'll be going on year four. And I definitely have a different um, aspect of where I want to take this thing and where I want to go with it. Um, we're not just going to stop with me just being on camera talking my shit, even though I have fun doing it. Or me being on the mic talking my shit, even though I enjoy doing it. But it's going to be more. I want to expand on what we are already doing. Um, so that's that. Oh, what else did I have to talk about? There's some other things I needed to throw in the mix. I don't know. I think about it as we say the things that we need to say. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, three years. And I ain't gonna lie, I've been happy doing this the last three years. I, of course, would like to get back to, um, back to, um, the marketing aspect and the management aspect. Well, I'm slowly but surely getting back into that because COVID <laughs> hit me hard on the business tip. And so that's part of why this podcast started, part of, um, but I would like to get back to those things as well. Um, so let me say these things. I, I'll talk about that in a minute. Hold on. Let me say these things real quick. If you would like to come on this podcast, hit us up ambitiously the podcast at gmail.com. Again, the email address is ambitiously the podcast um at gmail.com. Talk about advertisement, sponsorships. If you would like to come on the show, you got some music that you wouldn't like played, um, suggestions. Doc has given us a couple. Um, so on and so on. The best place to hit me up when I'm not on camera is ambitiouslypodcast at gmail.com. Um, the phone line is always open and available. It is 443-850-4828, 443-850-4828. You could drop a comment. You can leave me a text. I'll read it on camera. Matter of fact, let me make sure we didn't have any while I was talking and running my mouth. Um, or you can come on camera and um we can have a conversation i'm sorry y'all but i had to have this conversation real quick um but yeah you can you know ask me to drop the link i will as long as you're on your best behavior you feel me that's it that's all i ask it's just be on your best behavior don't come on here showing me your little peter weeder i don't want to see it i don't need it keep it cool because I will read you for filth, and you don't want her. <sighs> you want the other one. Anyway, so that's that. Um, if I play music on this podcast, know that I have full permission to play the music. I just don't go around 
playing people's music without permission. That's not how I get down. If you would like to find us on social media at Miss underscore Ambitiously ENT, or you can go to our Facebook page, Ambitiously, or you can go to YouTube, Ambitiously the Podcast, The Black Experience, baby. <laughs> um... Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to this podcast. We need every like, every share, every subscription. We are trying to build something, and it would be beautiful if you come and help us build that thing and be a part of the movement, and so we can shout you out. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I would love to be like, hey, what's up? I see you. I see you, bro. Um, check out the website, www ambitiouslyentertainment.com www.ambitiouslyentertainment.com drop a donation now I'm tired of people talking about me being on um, OnlyFans why I gotta go over there for you to drop a, a donation you can drop the donation right here baby I don't need to go over there and do stuff that I don't have no business doing where well, you could just show love right here and so cash app us dollar sign capital l-u-r-l-u-c-i-d-i-t-y lower lucidity if you want to know what that means just two words lower and lucid to lower them in clearly um that's the name of my first company by the way um i'm just transitioning it into something else <gasps> yeah um patreon make sure you become a member patreon.com slash ambitiously ENT same thing with view it um, only it's view, view it um, dot com ambitiously ENT you can find us there big shout out to my co-host that will be here next Tuesday because um, we weren't there um, he, we didn't do a show um, on we didn't do a show on this Tuesday because it was 4th of July. I'm sorry. I'm shooting text messages while I'm talking. We didn't do a show this Tuesday because it was 4th of July. And I probably would like, again, I would have done, still done the show if my daughter had not said, mommy, don't do the show. Spend time with me. And so if she's, I'm going to spend time with her. It's just what it is. Uh, she's very important to me. It's my baby. It's my princess. So that's why we didn't have a show yesterday, but we will be back at it next Tuesday for the tap in. Mm-hmm. 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 And big shout out to our DJ, um, Rukezi, for the mix. He's working on the mix right now. I did speak to him earlier, and he's like, I'm, I'm on it because I want to be in before it's time. So we got some things going on with him, too. He's working on it. He's working on it, and it should be fire now. Um, let me get to these last few comments we got on the screen. I just had to get all those things out of the way before I even started, you know, having these comment conversations. Okay. Um, Doc said, what else you reflected on regarding key moments of the podcast? Um, yes. I love doing interviews. That's probably my favorite thing to do that I've been able to do on this podcast. I haven't had any recently, which I need to get back to doing those. But the interviews, the interviews were always my number one. One is because I always had a dream. If I ever did an interview, I mean, if I ever did a podcast or, you know, I was working on the radio or something like that, that I would be doing interviews. So, yeah, the interviews, they were my hot spot. I love doing interviews. Um, what else? We worldwide. <laughs> we worldwide. DJ Rue Casey. You heard? Yeah. Go big shout out to my DJ. I, I got man love for my DJ. He be he be out here killing killing the wheels. Um, top flight with Cat Lee. Catch the vibe. I'm just saying it's a good vibe to catch. You just got hop on board you know what I mean we're we gonna, we gonna fly up out of here together it's top flight you heard my boo doc you heard my my boo doc um but yeah I think the interviews though for me doc was like they that they will be key moments because I I've done a few interviews um but you wouldn't know because I haven't really been doing them in this year but I would like very much to get back into doing those because those are the fun times. I've done a couple. I had, um, let's see, um, Jay Funk on here, who's responsible for the theme music that we play at the end and the beginning of the show. We had him on here a couple of, a couple of times, maybe like 
three times. King Knox has been, besides King Knox doing the tap in with me, I interviewed King Knox um, a couple of times. Um, we had a, a beautiful young lady named Judith. She's a poet. She, man, she got some dope shit. Uh, we had um, Hotep, which I've played his music on, on the show as well. He's been on the show. Uh, who else? Truly Ham, dude from D.C. He's been on the show a couple times. I like doing interviews. That's my favorite part of the show. I, I got, oh, shoot. One, um, Snook. Snook the Crook, he's been on the show. Um, shoot, who else? Snook the Crook. Um, dang, I would have to scroll through my videos. Um, dang, oh, bomb, Baltimore on his back, well, on my back, bomb. I say on his back because it's not on my back, but he's been on here as well. So I've done a few interviews, I've loved them. That's like my favorite thing to do. Um, so, oh, you saw my old work. Hey, I appreciate it, boo. Thanks for watching it. Um, but yeah, you know what I mean? Like, that's my favorite part of doing the podcast. But I enjoy the creativity part of it, too. Just, like, being able to, you know, create, like, different shows. Like, the tapping was an idea that I had. And then um started, you know, working with King Knox. And it was like you're a perfect fit you know you, you you're an artist i am many things i wear many hats i'm the cat in the hat um but you know why don't you come and do the tap in with me and so that was an idea that was already in my head but it kind of came together and it works well um even playing mixes on the show which is the idea i, I told you um Rukesi and I, we sat down a long time ago and talked about this. I just needed him to be ready to do it. And now he's ready. He's in that zone. He's ready to do it. So, you know, it's a lot of things that have come um, to fruition. The Tapping is your favorite show. Oh, I'm going to make sure I let Knox know that. We, uh, But I want, you know, even those things to turn into something more. Like, I want to branch out. Like, I want Knox to do his own show, of course, within the network, because that's what my end game is. Um, I want Rukesi to do his own show, of course, within the network. Um, so, you know, it's more to come. Just don't get comfortable with what you see right now, because it could change. It could change so fast, and you'd be like, "What the hell? What the hell is going on?" But it could change, so um, that's what it is. But yeah, three years and very happy about doing this this podcast. I don't think I'm gonna stop, um, unless the most high deems it as what it's supposed to be. But I think you know, you know, it's good. It's good. The vibes we got over here is good. Um, so anyway. Um, wait. Only change would be Knox. <laughs> All right, yeah. We we had it once though. He was on. He was on time one time. <laughs> no, he was on time. He was on time two times. The first show, the first episode we ever did, and then that one time when he was actually here before the show started. But other than that, he don't be on time. We already know what it is, Doc. We already know what it is. It's just what it is. Um, but my number one employee is always on time. Hi. You always on time. Um, so some things I gotta say before I get up out of here, because this is only supposed to be an hour show. And some for some strange reason we always no, I ain't even mad at it. I like that we go over this, you know, go over the time limit sometimes because it's fun just to talk about stuff after I finish saying all the things that I have to say. First things first, mind your business. It's stuff on Media Mondays where you come here and I tell you everybody's business because I'm nosy and I know you nosy too. And it's good. It's a safe way for us to be nosy. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But come here on Media Mondays and we'll be nosy together. Um, but out in these streets, mind your business. It's a dangerous world out there and everybody don't need to be in everybody's business. I'm just saying. So mind your business. And there is a difference between standing in your lane and minding your business. I'm going to get to that in a minute. Um, love your babies. Hug your babies. Encourage your babies. Tell your babies they can be anything they want to be. But remember to tell them. Remember to remind them that they are the GOAT. 
They are the greatest of all freaking times and they need that encouragement and you are the first line of encouragement. So if they want to work for NASA, then tell them to be the best astronaut, engineer, secretary, janitor, receptionist, or whatever the hell else they do over there at NASA. I don't know. I've never worked there. If they want to work for NASCAR, then tell them to be the best NASCAR driver, pit boss, commentator, or whatever the hell else they do over there at NASA. I'm NASCAR. I don't know. I don't work there either. But the point is, just tell them to be the best at whatever it is that they want to be except for maybe a stripper but tell them to be the best at it i'm just saying um because you know these kids need us they need us bad and that's why the world is crazy as it is because there's nobody out here doing that um stay in your lane everybody's lane is not your lane don't insert yourself into somebody else's lane that you don't belong in stay in your lane because if you just search yourself in my lane you're getting this <laughs> You don't want her. You want her. She's a nice, sweet, pretty little kitty cat. You want her. You don't want the other one. She is a whole lion. You don't want her. Or at least her. Because, baby, <laughs> if I'm purring, I'm a happy, happy girl. That's all. You just... <laughs> You don't want the other ones. So stay in your lane. And what usually happens when you jump into other people's lanes is a collision and who the fuck needs that? Nobody needs that. So just stay in your lane. That's it. And last but not least, choose your battles wisely. Every battle is not a battle that you're supposed to fight. Choose your battles wisely. Worry about the war. It's a war going on out here and we need to worry about that. So just choose your choose your lanes wisely don't just jump in everybody else's lane stay in your lane how about that and don't be trying to fight all the battles so what you say doc <laughs> still be the best stripper get that bag listen i got one job <laughs> i don't got one job i got multiple jobs but that ain't where my daughter gonna end up at so i can't speak on that um i don't even know if i want her to be the best all right anyway so with that being said, Doc, you crazy. <laughs> I love Doc, man. I love you, Doc. I do. I appreciate you being here. Like how you be here, because I promise you, you make it funny. Uh, <laughs> with that being said, <laughs> with that being said, y'all, I got to get out of here. Doc is crazy. I got to get out of here and go do my mommy thing and keep her off the pole. But I love you guys so much. Stay safe out here. Make sure you turn in for Fire Friday. We do have a new mix coming. Um, Rukezi is working on it. Probably not right now as we speak, but as we speak. Um, and man, it's always a pleasure. Hold on, I gotta get my, my boo last comment in here real quick. I ain't leaving you out here like this in the cold. And you ain't go Brazilian man on me today. Nope not doing that great show good energy more viewers good things happen and see you friday oh doc i love your little love note she be leaving to me i do but anyway i gotta get out of here i love you guys be safe see you friday fire mix coming bye